Sprinklerinos. I have been on YouTube now for six years and I have never done a full room tour talking about every single thing in the room. So today, at last, I'm going to do it. I was going to do a little short cutesy artsy one like Baby Glitter's room tour, but then I thought, no, I want to tell you about every single thing in this room. So that's what we're going to do today. So it's going to be a long un, but good un. That's what they say about videos. First of all, the door. I know this might not seem interesting to you, but this house was a 1930s house, and these are the original doors, and when I bought this house, I was very excited for the doors, and particularly excited for the lock, because it does like this. It's just cute. It's a little bit stuck, so I just had it repainted. I've had my room redecorated recently. Uh, but the doors are something I really like. Moving on from the door, we move over to the bed, where all the action happens, and by action I mean this is where I basically just do all my work. The bed itself is from Ikea. This is not old, and I bought this like four, uh, five or six years ago, and also these lights from Ikea, and I bought these five or six years ago, and they're still going strong, touch wood, and I like them because they're LED, so they don't ever get hot, so you can lean on them and not you know, worry that you're going to burn your flesh off the body. Bedding is from um, John Lewis and was quite a recent splurge actually. Splurge is not the word you want to use when you're talking about your bed, is it? The bedding was a recent splurge from John Lewis. I would really recommend that you spend as much money as you can on bedding because you spend so much of your life in your bed, especially if you work from home, and I like, I do have an office, but it's nicer to work from my boudoir. So I have two normal pillows, like everyone has two normal pillows, um, with a normal pillowcase, and then this is an Oxford pillowcase because it has that little frill, I think it makes it look pretty. But then I also bought the square ones because I wanted to add a bit of texture. If you watched my six ways to improve your bedroom video, you'll note that texture was a key element to that excellent short film documentary that you enjoyed there. And this fluffy pillow was from Home Sense. it was a bargain, I've got a pink one, and it also had a cream one, but that doesn't go in my room anymore, so that's been relegated, I think, to Darcy's room or downstairs. Lots of you in the six ways to improve your room tour, or not tour, video, asked where I got these from. They were actually from Oliver Bonas, or Bonus, um, or Bonas, <laughs> as Zoe likes to say. Um, I bought them online and they came perfectly packaged, even though they're very delicate, listen. Very delicate, but they came really well packaged and they came really quick, so uh, thank you Oliver Bonas, or Bonus, for that. Um, I bought three different sizes and they all have really personal things to me in them. So I collect little bits and bobs from life and I've been putting them in a box because I was going to do the Project Life project um, and as you can imagine I just haven't done it. So I took the bits I collected, a sticker from Disney, this is an Insta picture from when Darcy I think was about two and a made her a den and a little person that she drew. This letter is from my grandma and granddad um, from 2000 2012 I think. Matt and I hosted a Christmas one year here, it's the first Christmas we ever, the only Christmas in fact we ever did in this house for everybody, we had 12 to come. Um, it was 2011 because Darcy was a little tiny baby and I just think the letter's really lovely and it was a really happy day and I know some of you will be thinking, um, oh it's addressed to Louise and Matt and we're not together anymore but they're still happy memories and Matt and I often talk about how even though we're not together we can still take our happy memories and put them in our like happy memory mental box so it's it's not weird for me to have that there. Um, a picture of me and my friend Marie in Seattle, me and my chummy Zoe, a card Zoe gave me, she actually gave me this after my Warwick Louise Live show and inside she's written something like really special to me so that's in there and a picture Darcy did a couple of weeks ago, um, I think it's me and her um, but it's really, really special there. <laughs> Moving on to the middle, I've got a really fun weekend I had in Brighton with Zoe, Alfie and my friend Dave Erasmus and that's my sister Tiana hiding and the Creator Summit was this thing I went to in New York and it was on my birthday and I can honestly say that was like the best day of my life. Some of you might be thinking, well wasn't Darcy being born the best day of your life? Um, no, because it really hurt. 
but having her obviously is the best thing in my life but that was the best day and then I just put some um, temporary tattoos there because I just wanted a bit of shiny colour and also you know how much I love those temporary tattoos. On to the other big one, um, Darcy photo booth pictures that we took in Florida a few months ago, um, this lovely picture she's done for me, a picture of me, Matt and Darcy, uh, a Disney World coaster and a thing we got from Disney World. I tried to make this kind of like the family frame so it's, this is nice for Darcy to look at as well it's nice for her to see us all as a family and I just think that she'll really enjoy this. She actually hasn't, she actually, <laughs> she actually hasn't seen these yet because um, I only put them up the other day so looking forward to seeing those and then this one um, this little card is from somebody sent me some flowers recently and wrote like a cute little note on there so I put that in there. This playing card is the card that David Blaine used when he did magic with me on my birthday which was the same day as the Creator Summit. See, one of the many things that made it the best day and these are my friends Nikki and, Nikki and Tony from university. I will say I need more of these because I want to put pictures of like my friend Faye, my friend Hazel, my friend Jack and like all my other friends. So if you're thinking, oh, there's people missing, you are right. There are people missing. It's not deliberate. It's just these are the things I had to hand when I was making them. I think that I might change them seasonally, which is the joy of these. You can take stuff out and mix it up. I might make Christmas ones. Obviously, these are my wardrobes. I don't want to show you too much because I will do a wardrobe tour one day. Also, they're very messy. But hopefully you can see here that actually they... This was a fireplace with alcoves, so this is where the alcove goes in really deep and we had them built in years ago, so um, I've reorganised those. Oh, I'm showing you all my mess and spread them all out, but if you would like a wardrobe tour, let me know, baby. Mm. These mirror shelves were mentioned in my um, six ways to improve your bedroom. I bought them from Anthropology online. They weren't that cheap, to be honest with you, uh, but I like them because they're quite thick and they're shelves as well as mirrors, so they're multifunctional. And I wanted to keep the room as uncluttered as possible, so I wanted stuff on the walls and not all over the floor like it used to be. So this little one here, um, you can display them whatever way you want to, but I had to be aware of the door because the door opens like this, so I had to keep it up. And this is where I just keep a few perfumes that I use quite regularly. I've got um, Juicy Couture, um, Narcissus, I've never heard of this one, but my dad bought me for Christmas once. And this one, which I'm loving a lot at the moment, which is the MAC Turquatic. I always go back to this one. It smells quite delightful. This one is my favourite of the two because it's like set perfectly at my head level so I can put my little bits and bobs on. I thought I would use it for makeup, but I actually sit cross-legged in front of my big wardrobe mirrors uh, but I just use it to store stuff on this is a little bunny like ceramic bunny ring holder that Marie bought me in Seattle um, I just keep bits and bobs here in a bow and then this little saucer is my new organization system for my memory cards because recently I lost an entire memory card that had a collab on it with Catterific which I need to which I've now found and I'm going to put up soon I'm trying to be a bit more organised and this little saucer was from Next and it was a gift from my neighbour Vicky. Um, these things on top of here, I wanted a D and an L for Louise and Darcy. The D, they, um, they were both cardboard as you can see and I got them in the bargain bin at Hobbycraft and I just spray painted the D copper and then a friend of mine who came to visit recently said I like your new room but there's no sparkly Louise nest to it. And I was like, you've made a very good point there, so here you go, here is some sparkly Louise-ness. But I think they're quite fun and they were super cheap and easy to make. Perhaps I could do a video on making something like this and ways to DIY stuff in your bedroom. Let me know below if you'd like that. Another little gem from Oliver Bonas or Bonas is this um, basket shelving unit, wire. I don't know really what the official term for this is, but I like it a lot. I love all the things on it. I've been like playing around for a month or so with how I want everything to go, but I think I'm happy. I've got some of my YouTube books. I've got a whole library of YouTuber books in my guest room, but obviously I've got Zoe's one and my British one and then my American one. Links below for both. 
Um, and then this little speaker thing my friend bought me when he came to stay the other day as a little thank you for having him, which was nice. This bag is a special bag. This one's from Jack for my 30th birthday and basically I think it's the most beautiful thing. It's too beautiful just to hide away in a drawer or cupboard. It has to be displayed. And then the little purse that goes with it, but I don't use it very often because I prefer something a bit slimmer. Then moving up, I have a really nice picture of me and Darcy when she was a baby, so I can remember her little baldy baby head. And then just a few little sweet things next to it. Um, a little Polaroid picture of me and my friend Eve from university. A cork, which was saved from a special occasion. A nice candle, just because it smells nice in Seattle. And then this postcard I bought in, um, in LA in the Palisades. And I just thought it was a really nice motto and I look forward to being given a thousand kisses and then a hundred and then a thousand more and then probably like having to have a rest because it's a lot of kissing. Um, a little copper bowl which just sits nicely there and then this um, candle holder I'm just using for like pencils and brushes and wands and stuff my friend Claire gave me and then a little book of tons of pictures of Darcy which cheers my little heart up. This little corner is my reading nook, and I've never had a reading nook in my bedroom, so I'm very excited for this. The little trolley I bought years and years ago when I was in a vintage shop with Zoe and Tyler Oakley, and it was gold and green and spray painted, dark grey as you can see, and on it I just keep a basket of makeup -y bits, that basket is from NYX. I always keep flowers on it now, I've been really good at buying flowers every week and arranging them. This chair is one of my favourite things in my room, um, this is actually what's the word, not a heritage, an heirloom, an heirloom. My granddad bought this chair for my grandma as a wedding, as a wedding present to her and it used to be white and then I painted it green to go in my spare room and underneath there's a big heart drawn on the bottom. So I spray painted it copper to fit my room, they obviously don't mind, they've given it to me to do whatever I like with but I just think it's lovely that this chair has so much love in it and it's survived all these years and then this cushion was a gift from my dad when I went to university and somehow it's managed to survive all these years as well so this little corner has quite a lot of history in it with the vintage trolley this is vintage too this jug actually I bought this in uh, the same shop as I bought this trolley actually and then a lovely gift from a friend and then so much love lots of lovely things in my little reading nook Moving round to the window area, I finally have the curtains that I talked about in a previous video. They're from Next and I love, love, love the texture of them. They're this lovely like woolen mix and they give just a really nice depth to the room. Um, and then the curtain holders, my friend ordered for, I paid for them but my friend chose them because I'm rubbish at things like that. And I like that they have this big crystal on and we have them hooked at an angle so that the curtains would sit really nicely. That's a top tip, rather than having them horizontal or perpendicular, just have them at an angle. So now I don't actually slide my curtains open, I just hook them onto the giant hooks, which I think looks really, really nice, and it frames the window really nicely too. This lamp was from notonthehighstreet.com, um, and I have put it here because I'm going to have a huge dressing table in the bay window, but that's not been delivered yet, and when it does, I'll put it on Instagram or I'll include it in a video in some way or another but I'm excited for that because it's copper and mirror and I wanted a big lamp to sit over the top of it so I included this and then this little sign um, was a gift from Matt for Mother's Day from Darcy well it was from Darcy but obviously Matt and I sort out those things at the moment while she's little and it says love you mummy and it's got two bunnies and I just think it, it's a nice little reminder of mummyhood for me and then the last thing that I can show you today is the little Puff, the footstool, the ottoman, whatever you want to call it. It was from, um, I, I think, not on the high street or anthropology. I'm not entirely certain. I can't quite remember. It didn't come stuffed. I did think it would come fully stuffed. But what I did, because I bought new cushions and bedding, is I put my old cushions in there. I do think it needs a little bit more stuffing if I want it to look really, like, firm. But for now, that's fine as it is. It's going to go somewhere in my room. I thought it was going to go as, like, a footstool for my reading nook but I obviously don't really sit there and read very often but I do sit on that by the windows and do my makeup and which I'm going to do until I have my dressing table. And that's all there is of my room so far. I'm still working on putting lots of little finishing touches to it because it takes a while when you redo a room to like really put your stamp on it but I'm really happy with how it is so far. I'll perhaps do an updated room tour in a few months or a year when I put more bits and bobs in 
But if you have any questions, leave them below and I hope you enjoyed this slightly different and longer style of room tour and I'll see you all soon. Thanks for watching. Bye!